So let me open it. Oh, <gasps> hey guys, and welcome to my review of my new phone, which is the iPhone 11 Pro. A review done by someone who knows nothing about how to do a review. Welcome to my channel. Before I show you what I got, I want to just um, say that this is a very exciting day for me today because I got my new iPhone today and it was a combination of four weeks of research after research after review, YouTube, Google, um, talking to people or whatever, you know. I'm just trying to see what could be the best fit for me. Now, I didn't want to have to fork out a large amount of money and get a phone that isn't going to really give me everything that I need because at this stage of my life, I don't know about you, the question of getting a DSLR camera is just not even on the cards right now because they are super expensive. Sure, the phone I got today is expensive as well, really is expensive, but it's going to fulfill all the needs that I have. It's from what I've seen from reviews I've watched, it's got very much DSLR camera qualities, which is amazing. And, and some features are even better than some DSLR cameras, so that was very comforting to know. Which is the reason why I actually went with the iPhone Pro, iPhone 11 Pro. Now the reason why I didn't get the iPhone Pro, iPhone 11 Pro Max is because the size of the phone. Now, I'd imagine, I think that this is basically the size, might be a little bit smaller than this, but the stretching across the screen all the time, my poor aching bum cannot take it anymore. So I wanted to get a phone that was smaller and more convenient to carry around. So that's why I went with the standard iPhone 11 Pro, but it does have apparently superb um, battery life. It's got, it's waterproof resistant, dust resistant, and now this is everything that I need because I'm the kind of person that will be in the garden taking photos and I will prop my phone in the sand. Yes, I do that, which is a problem. So it's nice to have a phone that is resistant to all these things. I think I've said everything that I wanted to say. If there's something that I've left out, I will say it once I've opened the phone, but I'm desperate to open this now. Okay, I'm going to show you what I got quickly. I got the glass screen protector, which is very important because I am not going to be dealing with a cracked iPhone screen again because that is very traumatic. I did have an iPhone 7 Plus and actually there's a pancake video on my channel. I'll link it up here if you haven't looked at it. And that video I filmed entirely on my iPhone 7 Plus and Seeing the quality of the video that I have had with an iPhone 7 Plus, I was like, I need to stay with iPhone because it's going to give me what I need. It's going to be able to film amazing videos. And with the Pro, I get to make cinematic kind of videos. So that is great. Um, so I was very sad that my iPhone 7, I sold it. I'm very sad that that the screen broke and everything. It really was a magnificent phone. I had it for four years. It served me well for four years. So I just know that with this phone, it's going to give me a good number of years again. And also, I've got some other videos that will be coming up of my minimalism journey. And this is one of the reasons why I also went with this phone. Because I don't want to have a lot of stuff around me. I'm trying to get rid of stuff because... I've realized, especially during this lockdown period, that you don't need, you don't need stuff. All it does is actually give you more stuff to worry about. So those videos will be coming up, so keep an eye out for those. You feel free to subscribe if you want to see them in the future. Okay, so first off, I got the screen, the glass screen protector. I already said that, I'm so sorry, let me move on. 
tests and I got the RK Plus for iPhone, screen repair, additional one year warranty and technical support. So that's great. Then they gave me this phone cover and I'm so excited. They said you can either choose the black or the orange and I decided to go with the orange because I love colour. It fills my life with happiness and I'm not boring and dull. No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> I can be. But I really like this colour. So, and it was 1,099 Rand. And they gave it to me. How cool is that? Thanks, guys, store. And then here is the beauty. The beautiful phone. Okay, I'm going to open it now. This is very exciting. Oh, no, I can't believe I'm doing this. You know, I just love how our phone packages their stuff. <laughs> and there it is. Okay. And now let me open it. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, it is so beautiful. I know I saw it in store, but like, now to see it in my own hand is like, So it's got this um, plastic cover on it. Here is the phone, if you can see it. It really is beautiful. And you can see it's a nice, decent size. It's not this huge contraption. And actually, I've got my Huawei P20 Lite here. And you can see the difference between the two. Yeah. Okay, so this is it. I'm so excited, guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me show you what else is in here. There's this with the stickers and everything. I know that. And then it's the the iPhone Pro comes with the the lightning charger adapter thingy. Um, so this charges the phone much quicker as opposed to the other one. So I've got that and then I've got new headphones. I'm so excited because my ones from my iPhone 7 were actually cracked on the side. So this is so exciting. And then here's the cable, a brand new cable. Guys, where's my old cable? I want to show you what it looked like. <laughs> this is what my cable was looking like. Look at that. Oh, I'm so sorry for itself. <laughs> so now I'm so thankful that this is all new and working and just beautiful okay so now I need to see before I switch it on I want to put on the screen protector because I'm that careful right now so let me just check that this is still recording okay, let me unpack this first okay so like serrations here a nice case that this glass cover comes in mm. now why do they go and do that now I'm gonna have to clean that off okay, or whatever there it is oh my goodness and now what's all of this um okay I don't know what that is for so swipe here, what? Wait a minute, I need to show that. Are there directions here? No. Directions must be in here. Okay, so One applicator. Is that an applicator? I don't know. Um, wow, yeah, it's an applicator to actually put the glass screen on. How cool is that? Okay, so I can take this off now. Okay. Just that is cleaned. And then drying it with the microfiber cloth. Using one hand, hinge open the top half of the applicator and slide the bottom of your arm, your smartphone into the bottom half of the applicator and 
secure into place so there you can see it's in nicely there I was wondering what this thing was for but that's so cool carefully peel back and remove the plastic film layer on the underside of the screen protector do not touch this adhesive side okay so I just want to give it one more okay I'm just going to do this part now I hope there's like dust flapping up from my bed and everything while I'm doing this. I think that's fine. I don't see any dust stains on there. I'm just going to try to stick this down again. Gently lower the top half of the applicator back down so the screen protector meets the smartphone screen. Okay, so I'm going to go like this. Okay. Gently apply pressure on the bottom of the sticker. Apply gentle pressure on the bottom of the sticker swiping in the direction of the arrow and watch the glue adhesion take place. Now, peel off the sticker, hinge the applicator open and slide your smartphone out of the applicator. Oh, my word. Oh, there's one little piece of dust. Oh, shit, then. But that worked pretty well, except for that. <laughs> Oh wait, I can lift it up. Um, sure, but I think I'm just going to ruin it if I do that. I think I might get dust on the rest of the phone if I do that. Okay, it's fine. It's one. Okay, I don't think it was possible to screw this up, but I think I just did. Okay, that's a bit better. Okay, cool. Alright, so that is on and then I can pull that out. So this smart applicator actually worked really well. I was just a bit of a chop with it. But it does work very well. Okay. So there. It is with the cover on. It worked pretty well. I just messed up a little bit there. Because I freaked out about that piece of dust. I should have just left it. Um, yeah, that worked quite well. Now I need to put the cover on. Because like I said, I want to be very careful. Oh, it's a nice cover. It's got like a velvety part inside that is really nice hmm. okay so you guys can look at the back of the phone one more time it really is beautiful and then i am going to just come on Let me just give it a bit of a clean at the back cool done there it is i must say it actually looks quite nice the green and the orange together i quite like it I can't believe I missed that up, like really. But this is so cool that it's an applicator. It would have worked well. I think I shouldn't have done it on the bed. I should have rather done it at the table where I had better control of doing stuff. But anyway, what's done is done. I wanted to check, do I need to first charge the phone? I'm gonna Google it. <laughs> do you need to charge? an iPhone 11 before switching it on for the first time. You don't need to charge it at all the first time that you use it. If it has battery power, have at it, have at it and enjoy it. Well that's on the Apple website, so I'm going to trust that. Okay, so I'm going to switch this baby on now. Hello. <laughs> Guys, I'm very excited. Okay, I'm going to set this up and then I will be back with you guys. 